Hi everyone, this is Ben Songroth with the Learning Technology Center of Illinois, and today we're going to look at how we can tether our hotspot from an iPhone to a Chromebook to support students in a remote learning environment. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our iPhone and where we can make sure our hotspot is enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the settings or tap the settings that's going to be on your iPhone. That's going to open up your settings menu. And then in the first block, you should see where it says personal hotspot. Um, you're also going to want to make sure that your Wi-Fi is enabled. Even if you don't have Wi-Fi at home, make sure that's slid on or else the, wife, the personal hotspot might not show up. When you tap personal hotspot, you're going to want to make sure that you have allow others to join enabled as it is on my phone. Then you can also set up your Wi-Fi password, which you're going to want to do even if you're just sharing it with your students. Uh, that way, if you're out and about, people don't see your hotspot on your phone and try to tether to it. So make that something easy um, that you can remember. So when that's all done, that's all we have to worry about on our iPhone. And then on our Chromebook, we're gonna go over here and we're going to locate in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, there's a little Wi-Fi icon. When you tap that, you're gonna now see the Wi-Fi area pick up here. So right now I'm attached to my home Wi-Fi network. But we wanna look at, when we click on this, you should see a scan for other Wi-Fi networks come up. So now I'm going to look here and I see Ben's iPhone is one of my available Wi-Fi networks. So I'm going to select that. It's going to come up and it's going to ask me to put in a password. So I type in Ben LTC phone as my password and hit connect. And now you should see it joining down here, connecting to Ben's iPhone. So now you see that it's connected to Ben's iPhone right here. So that's telling me that I have a strong signal and now I should be able to get to anywhere I need to go, such as Google Classroom. Now, you might notice that if you're in a tough cell zone area, it'll be a little slow. So have patience with it, but it will work eventually. Um, just, you know, be cognizant of that. But if you can find a good spot in your house that has a good cell service, make sure you put your cell phone there and then your student can be close to the phone as well because the closer they are to the phone and the better the spot in the home where the cell phone is and gets good cell reception, then they're gonna have better success with this. So that's how you connect an iPhone to a Chromebook uh, for a hotspot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And as always, in these times, wash your hands.